great event, certainly returning. Sunset on Central Music Festival plans to be back in August. Sunset on Central is a free music discovery festival and this year's concert, August 27th, Central Street in Happy Holler. Uh, we've got Kent Oglesby here with Born and Raised Productions to talk a little bit more about what this year's festival is going to be like. First of all, you all probably super pumped. Oh, this wait. is going to be happening in <laughs> August. Yes. Yeah, it's been a couple years. I mean, we were talking just now <laughs> off camera yeah, just about how long I've, it's been since I've been in the studio to talk about music. Um, Sunset on Central was, you know, went great in 2019. We were so excited to come back in 2020. And then something happened. I can't really remember <laughs> what. Um, but it's coming back. It's, it's one of my favorite things that we do because it highlights up and coming artists that we have here locally and around the region. Um, so there's not kind of the same name recognition as like a Joan Jett or a Brian McKnight. Uh, nothing that's going to elicit a reaction from my man over here that was uh, cheering every time you <laughs> name, <laughs> name yeah. an artist on the Tennessee Valley Fair. But that's kind of the point, right? It's it's a lot of like great artists, and they're, they're not unknowns either. It's our lead, our headliner, mm -hmm. signed to a major record label deal, put out a new album next week. But I would imagine most of the people watching this segment right now probably haven't heard of them. Um, but it's, we're a hotbed for talent, and it's a great yes. way to sh showcase and give a stage to a lot of the local Not talent. only is Tennessee like the state where like music is like our state's identity it's like ingrained in our culture but also specifically in knoxville being on the crux of i-40 and i-75 mm -hmm. we have such close access to a lot of great bands from around the region uh, so this is a great thing to bring together so that people here in knoxville can see all these great artists that are from right here in their hometown as well mm -hmm. as in surrounding areas and the best part is that it's free. So there's no barrier of entry. You just come and see some great live music all day long. Um, if you kind of trust us as promoters to put good bands on stage, which fingers crossed, I hope that people <laughs> are starting to do that now, um, then you're gonna be treated to a great day and you're not gonna have to pay anything to do it. That's awesome. So right. August 27th. August 27th. I, there's five venues this, this year. We've added a new venue. So it's Yeehaw Brewing, Schultz Brow, Hops and Hollers, Corner Lounge, and Central Filling Station. Central Filling Station. Cool. Good little start. We're Fountain City gals, yeah, so we we're are. used to yeah, having yeah. a dollar, but a great, a great venue there to kind great of spread out show and see different area. places. Absolutely. Well, can't we appreciate you coming on? It's so good to have you back it's here great, It's great studio. to see you guys again. Always appreciate you having me on. Well, it's great to have this concert back, too, so God, thank you. Wait. Website really quickly. SunsetOnCentral.com. Thank you for that. Yeah, SunsetOnCentral.com. Mark the calendars. Coming up end of August.